very much indeed. Now, she is the Minister for Equality, but her religion brands homosexuality a sin. Tonight, Ruth Kelly is facing questions about her ability to reconcile her faith and her new job. Mrs Kelly belongs to Opus Dei, the secretive and ultra-traditionalist wing of the Catholic Church, made famous by the Da Vinci Code. So, is she then the right person for the job? Well, let's go to Angus Walker at Westminster. Angus. Uh, Mary, everyone I've spoken to today respects Ruth Kelly for being a committed Christian, but there are those in gay rights groups and some opposition politicians who are simply questioning whether she's the right choice to be the Minister for Equality. They're concerned that her beliefs and convictions could lead to a conflict of interest. Ruth Kelly makes no secret that she has a strong personal faith. She's a member of Opus Dei, a conservative Catholic sect which frowns on homosexuality and is against abortion. So is she the right choice to be the new Secretary of State responsible for women and equality? Mrs Kelly was celebrating today her birthday, a new job and new responsibilities. But gay campaigners are giving her a lukewarm welcome, concerned her faith may conflict with her duties, a charge she rejects. There are always questions going to be raised as a, uh, as a practicing Catholic about, what, about issues of conscience. Now, in the usual way, I express those uh, views in the House of Commons on, on issues which are free votes. But on settled government policy, of course, uh, I will uh, take those forward and indeed fight tooth and nail against discrimination wherever it's found. But homosexual rights groups point out that Ruth Kelly has abstained on 12 votes on gay equality since 1997. In June 1998, on the equal age of consent, Ms Kelly chose to abstain. In July 2000, Parliament voted to overturn Section 28, which banned councils promoting homosexuality. Again, Ms Kelly chose to abstain. In May 2002, on a bill allowing gay adoption, once more, Ruth Kelly abstained. Will she be voting for the legislation that her department is going to be bringing forward, which will give gay and lesbian people equal rights in the provision of goods and services? She has to vote for it, she has to turn up, which she hasn't done before. Ruth Kelly, like any other public figure, must be allowed to have her own personal religious beliefs. Of course, I completely believe that Ruth Kelly should be able to have her own personal religious beliefs. The question is, how will that impact her role as Minister for Women and Equality? Gay rights groups say they want to sit down with Ruth Kelly and Tony Blair to seek assurances that religion won't come before responsibility. Right, still to come on the evening news. I'll be telling you why Inuit people in Greenland are facing the extinction of their traditional hunting with dog sleds.